scary story plan. Oh, hello, sorry. I was busy inventing something. Not quite sure what it is, but it's going to be good. And it's going to save me time doing something. Just don't know what it is yet. I really like inventing things. Making something out of nothing, that is then great and fantastic. Do you know what? I know another little lad who is great at inventing things. Do you want to hear the story? Okay, throw that out, boy. Now, let's have a look. Ah, yes. It's in a fantastic book called The Puffin Book of Big Dreams. There we go. It's called Stanley and the Supersonic Vacuum. Ooh. It's written by me, Gareth Peter, and illustrated by the fantastic Gary Parsons. Are we sitting comfortably? Good, here we go. Tidy Town was the tidiest place on earth. But Stanley was not a tidy boy. Everyone in Tidy Town liked things spick and span, neat and clean, ordered and arranged. But Stanley was an inventor. He was too busy designing cogtastic devices to pick up after himself. He loved mess because it inspired him. After all, you never know when the next great idea will come. Tidy Town was not happy about Stanley's mess. So Mayor Sweep called a top secret meeting. My classroom's a mess, barked Mrs. Scrub, the teacher. My library's like a bombsite, moaned Mr. White, the librarian. And it's all because of one boy. Stanley, they both roared. We must do everything we can called the mayor. The town must stay tidy at all costs. Stanley will have to go to... Cleaning camp. <gasps> but Stanley had been secretly listening, probably with another invention. I won't go. I'm going to invent my way out of this, he thought to himself. That night, he lay awake, scribbling in his notebook, hoping an idea would catapult itself into his mind. But nothing did. The next morning, he was awoken by his dad. Stanley, he called. Clean and vacuum your room. You can't leave until it's done. Blinking bolts. I've got it, cried Stanley. I'll make the most Awesome vacuum ever. A supersized, supersonic sucker. No cleaning camp for me. In secret, he assembled old toasters, frying pans, broken toenail clippers, even a cheese grater. And by the time the moon was up, it was done. He arranged his toys in a semicircle, put on a top hat, cleared his throat. <coughs> I present the supersonic vacuum. Prepare to be dazzled as mess is eliminated at the flick of a switch. Kerwaz! His vacuum guzzled up everything in his room. Toys, pants, even his notebook. <gasps> Clanking cogs, shouted Stanley. It's too powerful. But at least there's no mess. Hmm. Maybe I should try again. So 
he heaved his machine outside, changed the setting and... Commence! The machine gobbled up Dad's rose bush. Then, next door's car, a lamppost, a passing cat and the entire contents of Mrs Scrub's garage. <gasps> Wiggling widgets, he cried. It's still not quite right. I'll have one more go. So, he hurried to town, made further adjustments and tried once again. The vacuum whirred and purred and gently gulped. One tiny stone. Tidy-tastic, said Stanley. But then, slurp! It sucked up the town monument. Then several trees, three cars, a fire engine, a boat from the harbour, the pizza parlour, the library book, and what appeared to be a large wall surrounding the town. <gasps> a wall that had been hiding a secret. Stinking socks, shrieked Stanley, as a tidal wave of junk came flooding into the streets. Years of unwanted toys, apple cores, socks, toilet seats had been hidden behind that wall. <gasps> this was the real reason Tidy Town had remained so impressively tidy. Ah, oh, secret rubbish stash, sobbed the mayor as a sparking lamppost crashed into the library, causing it to burst into flames. town is in chaos, cried Stanley, and it's all my fault. I have to do something. Then, like a comet, an idea flashed into his mind. He grabbed his machine and hurried to the swimming pool. Swiftly, it swigged up the water and a few inflatables. With a few tweaks there, said Stanley, zooming back, and a waggle here, and splosh! Stanley had reversed his machine and sent water gushing back out. The fire was extinguished and Tidy Town erupted in applause. Yay! And then every library book came hurtling out in alphabetical order. Out popped the pizza parlour, pizzas now assembled. Out exploded every car, boat, engine and tree back to their original positions. And out flew the town monument, gleaming and shinier than ever. raced home and kerflopped everything else out. And purely by accident, he'd found the most perfect tidy-tastic setting as everything landed neat and ordered. And for the first time, his room was actually tidy. Galloping gadgets, he said. I'll write that down in my notebook. But he still couldn't find it. Suddenly, there was another brainwave. He bolted back to the town square and turned the machine on full power. Stand back, he shouted. The vacuum then crunched, munched and gobbled every last piece of rubbish. Cur crunch, munch, gobble, slurp. <laughs> Tidy Town was once again astonishingly spotless. Amazing, said Mayor Sweep. But what are we going to do with all of the rubbish? Stanley had thought of that. He twizzled the controls again, sending every piece back out. Now scrubbed, sorted and squished into neat piles. <laughs> Ready to be recycled. I'll be tidy, he said, 
if Tidy Town finds useful and inventive ways to reuse its junk. And with that, the machine coughed out his notebook. Kerflop! <coughs> Stanley laughed. I guess keeping things tidy is important. Tidy Town continued to be spotless. But from then on, rather than hiding their junk, everyone did their best to recycle and reuse. Stanley didn't go to cleaning camp and instead converted his bedroom into a workshop for inventing incredible new devices, starting with the world's most delicious cake baking and most smelly stinking sock washing machine. Hm. His workshop was tidy enough that things didn't get lost, but not too tidy, because a little bit of mess can inspire the most unexpected ideas. <laughs> That's awesome! I love how Stanley thought and then made something happen. His fantastic invention helped himself keep his room tidy and help the whole town keep the city tidy because they'd been hiding a secret. I sometimes push things to the side when I don't want to tidy them up, but I know in the back of my mind they're always there. So I agree, it's good to be really tidy, but a little bit of mess, as Stanley said, can inspire the most unexpected, magical and wonderful things. So, OK, I've got an idea. If you could invent a machine, any kind of machine, to do something amazing, what would it be? Hmm. I think I would invent a machine that could clean my teeth and iron my clothes and make me a nice cup of coffee all at the same time with the flick of a switch. So in the morning, flick, and everything gets done. And then I'm ready to go out of the house. So I want you to have a little think and post some comments below about your fantastic, amazing inventions. Thanks for listening. And don't forget, dream big. Bye-bye.